This is a quick video I'm doing showing our off-grid wooden constructed solar array. I built it out of a treated 2x6s, 2x8s, 6x6s, and the two small 4x6s in the front. I used decking screws, the exterior decking screws, to fasten everything together. It's real sturdy. Here are some sketches I did before I built it. I attached grounding lugs to each panel and ran grounding wire down to a 8 foot ground copper ground rod. We have three strings in series and then they parallel together at this midnight solar junction box which has three 15 amp DC breakers and one midnight solar surge arrestor. I recommend that over any other brand. If you just go to YouTube and go to their channel, you'll see a test they did, and it convinced me. Also, they have a nice little calculator here. We have a classic 150 midnight solar charge controller, and you can go through and punch in all your data and you know make sure you're not going to fry your MPPT charge controller, which is really good for bringing as much power as possible from the sun. We, have, we do have uh, six evergreen 200-watt solar panels, and then we have three Paralite solar panels. And they're on their own string, and as long as you're within 10% of the um, other panels, you're okay to do that. And each string has to be at the same angle. Three panels are equals to 105 volts open current. And that's, you know, like I said, you can go through your midnight solar sizing tool calculator and I have the link below. This worked good for us so because we use four gauge marine tin wire to run down this conduit to the we have a closet that's a power closet where we have our pre-wired midnight solar e-panel with a outback inverter 3500 watt 24 volt inverter charger and the midnight solar MPPT charge controller classic 150 and I, I recommend that to anybody that's uh, you know do it yourself there's a lot of wiring done for you you only have to do minimal wiring it's worked great for us we've been off grid since um october 2012. i'm going to eventually do a video of our midnight solar e-panel charge controller inverter setup in the future just let me know if you have any questions or something doesn't make any sense, I'll answer your questions. Thanks. See you next time.